Hello there from Scottsdale, Arizona. My name is Jeremy Peterman, and I have a four ink Holtz Camp style organ to sell. I think this particular instrument will be most ideal for a setting that will allow the sound to blossom. So something with high walls and relatively large space. Not surprisingly, this small organ is largely a unified instrument. It consists of four main chests, the Gedecked Eight, the Principal Four, Quint Two and Two Thirds, and Crumhorn Eight. Starting from the crumb horns, we have an extended octave in the bass, which is right there. And the Gedecked Eight has an extended octave back there. And the one and one third quint is an extra octave extension of the quint. Actually, it's not an extra octave. It just repeats the same uh, set of 12 notes at the top once you get here to this C, it starts repeating again. And then the Gedecked 4 and Syphilote 2 and Gedecked 2 are all part of the same uh, Gedecked 8 stop. And lastly, the Principal 8 right there, the bottom octave is a doubling of the Gedecked 8 uh, bottom octave. The organ includes a bench with back and storage space, a dolly which is really easy to move, a 12 gauge electrical cord, a pedal light, tremulant, and if you will look beneath the tremulant, I have installed dollies on the four corners of the wind chest as well as a platform beneath the reservoirs and the tremulant and all the wind lines so that while you're working on it or having it worked on, you can easily move the entire organ around so that you have space for everything. And this also will allow for easy transport. Of course, the organ includes the chamber, which I have stored in a separate spot. I currently have the blower and the console set to start on two different switches so that I don't overload any one circuit. I only have one outlet in this room, so if you had two outlets, I think you would definitely uh, not have that risk. So I turn on the console and the blower is over there. Being able to turn on the console by itself is a plus if you ever need to work on magnets because you can hear them operating internally in the chest. Let's go over to the blower. It's in this box here. There is the swell operator and then turning on the blower. Here is a sneak peek inside the blower. I've got some soundproofing in there, a bottle of uh, oil lube in the far left if you ever need. I've already done it once. I'm sure you're eager to hear it, so let's have a go at it with a few excerpts from the doxology.
In another room, I have the swell shade stored. And also here, I have put the chamber. All the panels of wood conveniently have screws taped next to each hole or in a baggie along with design markings to help you reassemble it. I've also made an IKEA manual of sorts of my disassembly process and some videos to help. I can share those with you whenever you want. You'll have everything you need, especially concise information and instructions on how to put this whole thing back together. Oh, I also have pipe boxes. So it's the next day and I am wrapping up this informational about the pipe organ purchase. Really the true advantage of this whole instrument is that you and I can take it apart together and safely move it into your U-Haul. I've taken it apart once before and labeled everything so I can help you take it apart easily and then you'll have information to put it back together. Here's another detailed view of the dollies that I was talking about for the four legs of the chests. Each dolly has four wheels and then I've built a platform down there that we can roll it onto your truck. We might not even need to take anything apart but uh, we can if you wish. The blower it has a dolly too but I'm, I'm not going to give that with the purchase. 
but we will use that dolly to transfer the blower to your truck. I want to conclude by thanking you for having an interest in this instrument. I have a love of trying to salvage instruments. I've refurbished a dulcimer, three harpsichords, most of this organ, and I also like to take in a whole bunch of cats. But I digress. If you have a space for this instrument, email me at jpeterman at lacasadecristo.com or text or call at 336-684-0423. I'd love to find a beautiful space for this instrument. Thank you.